Shabir Ahmad Usmani Urdu Shabir Am Thameni Shabir Ahmad Usmani October 11 1887 to December 13 1949 was an Islamic scholar who supported the Pakistan movement in the 1940s He was a theologian writer orator politician and expert in tafsir and hadith Topic Early life Born on October 11, 1887 in Bainor, a city in Uttar Pradesh, British India. His father, Fadlur Rahman, was a deputy inspector of schools and had been sent on assignment to Bareilly, when his son Shabir was born. He was educated at Darul Ulam Dioband, where he became a disciple of Mahmud ul Hassan, and graduated in 1908. After his graduation, he was appointed as a teacher at Darul Uloom Dioband. In 1915, when Mahmud ul Hassan travelled to Hiyas, Usmani filled his position as the teacher of Sahih Muslim, a book of teachings of Prophet Muhammad. In 1925, Sultan Abdul Aziz ibn Saud of Saudi Arabia scheduled a conference for prominent ulama from all over the world. A deputation of a number of ulama from India participated in this conference, with Usmani among them. In 1926, he moved to Dabhul, a small predominantly Diobandi town in the Indian state of Gujarat, and became a teacher at Jamia Islamiya Dabhul. In October 1929, when the Foundation Committee set for the foundation of Jamia Millia Islamiya a central university, New Delhi, he was elected as a member of the committee. Many such Islamic scholars was the member of foundation committees such as Maulana Hussein Ahmad Madani, Maulana Abdul Bari Farang Mali, Sheikh Ul Hind Maulana Mahmud Hassan, Maulana Mufti Kifayatullah, Maulana Abdul Haq etc. In 1933, when Anwar Shah Kashmiri died, Usmani became the teacher of Sahih al-Bukhari, a book of teachings by Prophet Muhammad. Literary works Usmani's literary works are Tafsir e Usmani, an Urdu translation of the Tafsir of the Quran written by Mahmud ul Hassan, Fathal Mulham Shar Sahih Muslim, a commentary on Sahih Muslim, a book of teachings by Prophet Muhammad. Political career Maulana Usmani was the founder member of Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi as he was the member of Foundation Committee of the University met on Friday, 29 October 1920. In 1944, he became a member of the Muslim League and was one of the Diobandis who supported the creation of Pakistan. He founded the Jamiat Ulema-e-Islam in 1945. He served as JUI's president until his death in 1949. He is also notable for having led the funeral prayer of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan. After the partition of India, Usmani became a member of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan, and remained a member until his death. Although he was not given a cabinet position, he chose to remain a member of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan until his death. He is best remembered for having spearheaded the Karadad i Makassid Objectives Resolution, which was passed by the Constituent Assembly on March 12, 1949. <laughs> <laughs> Death and legacy Usmani died at Baghdad al Jadid in Bahawalpur state on December 13, 1949, and was buried at Islamia College, Karachi the next day. Pakistan Postal Services issued a commemorative postage stamp in his honor in 1990 in its Pioneers of Freedom series. <laughs>